Right, so first thing which you will need is a laptop and internet connection. Go to the website www.virtualdrumming.com. You will see an online drum which you can control using the keyboard. So if you press U, it plays the drum sound. What else do you need? Right, let's have a look. Obviously, you will need Arduino, Arduino Leonardo. Right, that's the version which we are going to use. Uh, you also need a one mega ohms resistor. Uh, quarter watt would do. One breadboard. I have got this Spark Fun case in which I can attach both Arduino and the breadboard together. Uh, you will need some jumper wires uh, and some alligator clips, right? All right. So let's have a look uh, how the circuit is, right? So let's have a look at the circuit, right? It's the most simplest circuit ever. So we have got Arduino, Leonardo, right? We connect the 5 volt supply from uh, Leonardo to the breadboard rails and also the ground and then we create a voltage divider so one side of the voltage divider is the 1 mega ohms resistor the other half of the divider would be your bodies right so this is person 1 this is person 2 so one end of the clip would connect this point to one person's wrist the ground will be connected to the other person's wrist right and when they touch each other the circuit will be closed here and a resistance would act at this point right so this will start acting as a voltage divider and you will get a voltage reading at this point this reading is transferred to Leonardo at analog input pin A0. Then we write a code which senses the change in voltage at this point whenever two people touch each other and then with the processing logic we send the serial command to laptop which is connected through USB cable. Right. So we will try to emulate a key press whenever the circuit closes here okay so this is the overall idea about the circuit and how it works now let's build it up all right so let's get started and build the circuit all right so first we will create the rails for uh, power supply and connect the positive 5 volt and ground to the breadboard rails so I'll connect the 5 volt power supply to the positive rail which is marked with red here then I'll take the green jumper and connect negative to the negative rail here right so I've got the positive and the negative attached to the breadboard as shown in the diagram here and let me connect let me build the voltage divider now so I need a 1 mega ohms resistor coming right from the positive rail to this point right. and then you will see uh, this end of the the other end of the resistor is connected to the analog pin which is the A0 so I'll take the yellow jumper to denote the signal that's connected to the A0 and then one end and this end also goes to the person's arm, right? One person's arm. So it will be connected to the alligator clip. So this goes to 
one alligator clip so like this right now it's ready to be connected to one person sound and the other alligator clip comes from the ground point so I'll take the ground and connect the other alligator clip here right and this goes to the other person so so one person would be connected to this and other person would be connected to the SCL one so when they touch each other it will send a signal to the laptop now again we need to connect the laptop right so we take the USB cable connect the USB to or do you know here right and then I'll take this and connect it to my laptop which is here let me see where it is here it's so, right. so I've connected this to my laptop also and alright. Now let's see how it works. Right, but hold on, uh, how will it work without uploading the software? So we missed the most critical part of it. Uh, to use this, uh, the concept behind this is very simple. Uh, we use a high resistance switch to uh, check when the circuit closes by the contact of two bodies. However, the problem with high resistance switch is that there is lots of noise. right? And in order to reduce the noise, we need some kind of noise filter. Uh, moving average is a mathematical concept which can act as a very good noise filter. Right. So what I did was uh, I downloaded a library which can help us to uh, capture the moving average. <coughs> it's called moving average filter. Now if you are uh, comfortable with Arduino, you would know how to add library. So you go to the Arduino folder right, and go to, go to the library folder. And in the library folder, just save the file. You can find this file in the uh, link provided by me. So you save this file there and then come to your Arduino project. Right? This is the code which I have written and along with this you will need to add the library. So go to sketch, import library, select the library moving average and as soon as you select it you will see that hash include moving average filter dot h will be added this means that now this code will be able to use the library and copy paste the code which you can find in the uh, details section of this video and just upload it so after uploading it you are ready to go uh, thanks very much for watching this video and uh, Thanks, thanks to Mowgli as well. Uh, Mowgli, can you hand the camera towards Mowgli? Uh, he's a very good friend and uh, assistant. He has got a uh, lot of contribution in our projects. So, thank you, Mowgli. Okay. Yeah, okay, all right. So, guys, uh, see you soon. Uh, do some more projects. Uh, and do let me know if you have any questions or any difficulties. Uh, I'll be glad to hear from you. Thanks very much. Cheers. Bye.